Yeah, what's going on? Today we're gonna to talk about how to create a dope cinematic fashion video. What's going on YouTube? It's Ali Dope and I'm checking in once again with another dope video, man. So I recently traveled to Charlotte I linked up with the homie Jay Grant 2020 to create some dope cinematic fashion video type content on the fly, run and gun type of action. We wanted to create a dope cinematic fashion video. Um, he's really fly. So I said, why don't we all just bring that all together and show the people how to create a dope cinematic fashion video to show off some of your flair in a different type of way. Something that you can use for reels, shorts, TikTok. Now, since I was traveling light, and it was a last minute trip. I only stayed in the city for, I think, less than 24 hours, really. I just brought my Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K, my A7 III, my Godox Flash, and that was pretty much it. I didn't use a tripod, no stabilizer, no nothing. Straight running gun on the fly, man. Just found some locations that we talked about it prior to. Now I'll show you my setup and the results that I got, but I know this is gonna be a two part video cause I know you guys are gonna ask me how I edited my video as well. So I'm already working on a video to show you how I created some of the effects and created it in a whole. See, I'm already in the future. I'm thinking ahead y'all, yes sir. <laughs> First we have to go over the structure and the type of shots that we're gonna need going forward to create the video in a whole. First, it's gonna be research. You gotta research, man. You gotta go see the vibe that you wanna rock with, and you wanna just think about the type of blueprint you wanna go for your video. Like the intro, the middle, the end. It's just like telling any type of story, if it, even if it's short form. It has to have an intro, catch somebody's attention, hold their attention, and leave them with something to either watch it again or to go do something. So me, as always, if you didn't go see my last video, go watch that. I discussed about how I use different websites to create ideas for my visuals, things like that. Like I always do, I hopped, on with a, I hopped over to Vimeo, I hopped over to YouTube to find some sauce for some ideas for the video. I had some shots that I found that I wanna recreate and try for myself, so I did. So I put those videos to the side and I just, created a melting pot and a mood board for the type of thing I was trying to do. Before I reached out to Jay Grant and I already had an idea of what I wanted to create. So when I reached out to him, he already knew the type of vision I wanted. And since he's there, I just told him prior to if he had some time to go look and find some locations so we can do some run and gun stuff, but we already kind of had a idea in mind. Okay, second, creating the shot list. Now, by this time, I already have some audio ideas that I already want to use and some samples or some beats or for the energy I want to create with the mood and the fashion and the clothes. So we, by this time I already talked to Jay Grant and we talked about some of the clothes ideas for the examples that I sent. He laid some ideas out, sent me some images. So I went based off of those and creating the shot list also has to do with knowing the effects that you want to try and post. You got to know what shots need to be had. If it's a tripod shot to create a clone, certain things like that. So you just want to be ahead of the game when you get on set. You kind of already have a blueprint, a roadmap that you're just gonna follow, especially when you're short on time. So now it's time to create the list for the shots that I wanna get while I'm out. Now getting the shot list together is gonna make your editing process a hundred times better because you could just look off one of your shots, look on the image and create from the storyboard that you already created, like pretty much follow these steps and then you have your video. So that'll make your turnaround time 10 times quicker. Now, even though this is run and gun, you still wanna have some sort of idea in mind when you get out there since you're gonna be short on time and you always wanna have a plan and you wanna have intention with the type of shots that you wanna get. It's cool and it might look like you're out there just catching the vibe, but you kinda already know the emotion and the, the energy that you wanna try to transform on screen. Now, also with that, you gotta be intentional and purposeful with the type of imagery and the images that you do capture because what you're gonna put out is what you're gonna get more of. So if you record a lot of sports stuff, you're gonna get more sports people hitting you up. If you're doing a lot of beauty stuff, more beauty people are gonna hit you up. It's like all circles. So when you're creating the shot list, you wanna keep that in mind. Like, do I wanna convey a like grittier style? Do I wanna convey a dark style? Do I wanna create 
a high key style with uh, bright lights and bright colors or do I want to have a dark and gloomy style? It's all depends and it all has to come back to the shot list. So you're not just out there get, gra grabbing what comes to you instead of looking for the shot that you want to achieve. Also with creating a shot list, you want a good mix of wide shots and close-up shots. Not only to capture the environment and the, the scenery of the whole, but you gotta also capture some close-ups so the audience can get the details and the small things that make up the whole image as a whole. So when they see it all together, it's like, oh yeah, so he was wearing this with that and he had the watch with the shoes and the, and then, but the lifestyle looks so, you know what I'm saying? So you try and bring that all together. For this shot and then for this shoot, particularly all I had was my 18, 55 millimeter and my Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K. So I just pretty much used those and it got a good variation of my shots. Now, third, we're gonna go with get outside and getting the shot. So now we're gonna be on location. Now you gotta know and make sure that you're using the right time, you're out at the right time to capture the shot and the type of emotion that you want in the image. We was on time, time constraints for this particular shoot, but we always still gonna make magic. Even as the sun goes down, you're always gonna find that shot. Try to find a golden hour where you can, and it all comes out to it. If you want a dark and night shot, daytime shot, but you're shooting for a sad type of image, it just, it all correlates when you're getting outside and getting the shot. When you're getting out of the shot, even though you might have different time restraints or different circumstances where there's a will, There's always a way, I promise. <laughs> like I said before, me and Jay Grant already had discussed some shots prior earlier in the week uh, for where we were trying to shoot and the type of scene that we we're gonna go. But like I said, last minute shoot, last minute ideas. We just came up with what we could come up with, which is still fire. But you always wanna have some sort of plan so you can always move accordingly, especially when you're already outside on location. There's gonna be different people walking up to you, telling you to move here, move there. So you gotta get on and get get the shot because you're not even supposed to technically be shooting sometimes. You might need a permit, this, that, and the third, but trespassing. When we're outside and we're on location, I'm quickly looking at some of the references that I had on, on hand, and I'm already looking at some of the shot lists that we had to do, and then we're just moving from there and then just moving around. I capture shots as I see them on set. And it's like, okay, I wanna get some low shots. I remember that in the scene. Make sure I capture some of the same shots twice in different locations, because you might be able to mix them up, things like that. And the main thing for me is just to have fun on set. Like, you just have to have fun. I like to shoot. So I like to have fun and shoot for a purpose. I don't like to just shoot just to shoot, and I don't like to shoot just for money, because that drains me and then it's not fun. But I do like to get paid as we all shoot as, as creatives. But when I am out here just creating to have fun and to practice new ideas and effects, I just wanna make sure I'm having fun on set, not taking anything too serious, making sure I'm cracking smiles, having a laugh, getting content, and just enjoying the process. Yeah. Big Grant. Yeah. We out here. He's real flea on him. So now, right now all we're doing is shooting some BTS, getting some, photos getting some video footage of us just walking around downtown showing the outfit showing lifestyle and you can't be stressed out all the time life isn't perfect things are going to happen you just want to capture what you can in the moment and it's about capturing those moments as well and now it doesn't always work out like it's supposed to but you just got to be prepared and keep working and go with the flow when um when we were shooting we found these dope steps as we were walking around downtown a little bit so i stopped set up and capture some shots of my guy on these cool steps. Cause I thought the steps was pretty cool. I think it, the steps matched his outfit, things like that. So that was dope. We went to this dope little rooftop, chill, grab some shots and um, grab some more shots. <laughs> or finesse this rooftop. <laughs> We're here. So we about to get some of these last scenes in for the fashion film. Yes, sir. Four. The flicks and then going the extra mile. Now this really, you don't, you don't have to do this, but I'm always going the extra mile because I like to have different mixed media inside of my videos, just so it gives it some texture. I like to have sometimes different aspect ratios, different textures, just so it brings different levels to the actual video itself because the video can be so many different things. Now you don't have to take pictures, but I like to take pictures, 
your mixed media could be something different. It can be like animation, clay animation, something like that, or a real life painting or real life rips or something like that. I like to take pictures. So I add pictures in my videos. And I also like to take pictures on set and stuff because I feel like it's a good rollout for content. Sometimes when you're promoting the content, you want to have a good variation of content, especially now on social media. I feel like you got the photo, the reel, the video, the story, then you got to post it as a highlight, then the you. We all know it's very overwhelming, but if you just take the pictures while you're on set, it makes everything like a lot more easy. And then you could just flow from there. Now, after all that, you go into post and we're going to make magic happen, but that's going to be in part two. And I think y'all are going to really like that video. Okay. So let's go over them one more time. First is going to be research, creating that shot list. Three is going to be getting outside and getting that shot. And number four is getting the flicks and going the extra mile to deliver your content. And like I said, you guys, I am working on the store and I am working on these new assets. So you should be on the lookout for that in May. We got some good announcements coming. It's right around the corner. Summer is getting <sighs> So I'm gonna be traveling a lot more, but I'm still gonna be posting and uploading. So you guys stay rocking with me. We just hit 5,700. Yes, sir, man, I can feel it. 10K on the way. I can feel it, it's on the way, y'all. So make sure y'all hit that subscribe button for me. Make sure y'all like, comment, and just, man, leave some love. Share it with the people. Let people know what's going on over here. I'm trying to drop these gems, trying to drop these knowledge. Now, always, I hope this helped you or inspired you in some way, shape, or form to create something of your own and just create with your friends, man, because you never know what creating dope content can get you. You don't know who's watching and you don't know who you might come across and when you might come across them when your opportunity might be there. Just show the people what you can with what you have. Don't limit yourself ever. There's kids with rocks creating movies. You know what I'm saying? Like you can, you can make it work. You know what I'm saying? Make it work by any means necessary. I'll catch you next time though, man. Keep hustling, keep learning, keep creating. Ali Dope, I'm checking out. Yes, sir.